Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're here at Mackey Stadium in electrifying Reno, Nevada. Has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. Goddard from the six. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 38. Well, that has got a new coach at the helm here in this one, Herbie. You've got to wonder what kind of impact that's going to have. Players will always want to sell out for a new coach. So I expect an emotional game and a lot of big play. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's at midfield, and he's taken down around the 46-yard line. Quinn's the kind of guy that could end up with some national honors because right now he's leading the conference statistically. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. You know, a lot of times coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense, and on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. He's taken down at the 48. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle at about the 47-yard line. They'll come up way short on third down. That's just a great stand by the defense on third and long. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. Brought down at the 21. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. They go to the ground game. He might have a chance. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Boy, the defense is very fortunate that the tight end was not able to make that catch. The last thing you want to see as a safety or a linebacker is a big, strong, athletic tight end with a catch with a lot of steam build up. Nobody wants to have to make that tackle. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Personal, Personal foul. Basement. Basement. Defense. defense. Still, Still first, first down. down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. He tackles him for a loss. That might have actually been a situation where he should have kept it. The back didn't have any room to run. He's knocked out of bounds around the 25-yard line. 
You know, the screen pass is used more often than not when the defense is putting pressure on the quarterback. When they feel this is the time that they can get after the quarterback, whether that's a, a blitz situation or it's third down and long, when they really feel like this is the play we're going to get after the quarterback, and the offense is able to sniff it out and get the screen pass off right over top of the blitz, and then you have either a receiver or running back waiting there to make a big play, and he's got a convoy of linemen in front of him that didn't have to worry about the pressure. Boy, now you talk about a big play for the offense. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Colorado loss is eight yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Tight end, right. Three down, three down. Red two, green 15. He wants it all going long. Got it to the senior. to a receiver, touchdown! And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you gotta keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he adds the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Let's have a look at what's going on in Palo Alto and for Louisiana Lafayette. They've now won three in a row. The Raging Cajuns win it by three. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Nevada to kick. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. Caught, and that's a first down. Tackle made right around the 46-yard line. First down. Fires to the wide out, first down. They went back to the same play that time. Yeah, you're right. Same play as the one before, and they got a good completion and a nice game. Makes a handoff, tackled for a loss. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 42. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receivers. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Once and all, going deep. Missed him. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. And you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Nevada is a team that was supposed to roll over and play dead in this football game, and they're not doing that. I think what we've seen so far is some good execution, but just more of an attitude. They have shown up to play in this game with a confidence and a belief in one another that they're going to pull off an upset today. Nevada is up a score. Nice run there.
tackle at the 21-yard line. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive lineman did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. Third and nine. Ball on the 21-yard line. He sails it long. And it's picked off. It's the safety. Brought down at the 33-yard line. I really like this corner's ability to read the play. He shows very good football smarts and pretty good hands, too. And that'll do it. Very good first quarter of action. 7-0, Wolfpack. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver well. Quick throw out to the receiver. He steps out around the 35-yard line. That makes it second and eight. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick throw, they'll bring him down at the 45. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. And it's caught. And he's tackled at the 44-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. From the 44 yard line, second down. Fires quickly and he's got his man. And they make the stop at about the 33 yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well placed ball. Most times you don't need much more than that. Caught and he's hit immediately. McKinney makes the set to with the 30 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Huge play for the defense. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on downs. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 21. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and he's taken down at about the 25-yard line. That brings us third and ten. Nevada up seven points. Come 
completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. That makes it fourth and eight. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. Phillips fields it at the 41. Tackle at the 49-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Has some daylight. He's at the 40. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Slings it out and it gets tipped. His receiver didn't have much of a chance to make a play on the ball, so credit the defender for breaking it up. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Brown takes the tackle at the 32-yard line. That'll bring up 34. Let's it fly. Incomplete pass. The ball just sailed on him, and he knows it. He'll get it next time. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Nevada is up seven. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. A gain of six. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. Nevada is going to use their first time out of the half here. They're about four yards away here on second down. After a decent run up the gut. Five wide. Short over the middle. He's taken down around the 46 yard line. That makes it second and two. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Short pass, middle of the field, and he is drilled at the 40. So they gain six yards on the play and pick up the first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. Here they come, wants to throw outside. And he tackles him hard at the 10-yard line. He's got a touchdown. He makes his second touchdown grab of the game. The quarterback knew exactly where to put the pass, and the receiver went out there and made the grab. Good communication there. And he converts the extra point. A nice six-play, 68-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. The Wildcats linebacker shaken up earlier, but he is a tough customer, and I think he'll be back in this game before it's over. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. 
So they're just about set to get the game going again. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. From their own 29 yard line, it's second down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He lets it fly. Tackle at the 35-yard line. Good-looking play there. I think they did a great job up front here, allowing the quarterback enough time to look downfield and spot the open man. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. It's a big-time effort sacked by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. To the 10. Touchdown, Arizona. Splits the uprights with the extra point. So a four-play, 71-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. I think the thing, Brad, that I'm seeing is the quarterback's taking advantage of some one-on-one -on -one opportunities on the outside for some big plays for this offense. The score now, 14-7. Fielded at the four. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When his quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. We've reached halftime, and we couldn't have asked for a better first half. 14-7, Wolfpack. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards very hard to come by. But David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. Yeah. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's, the, that's the conundrum you get in. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect and you want to get them to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works, and it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs, and you can hold them great, Reese, on first down, second down, it's third and long, you're in a perfect situation, you give up that one play for 80, and it changes the whole complexion of the game, so I think you got to have a little bit of both. It can't just be great defense the whole time. Usually, the teams that play great defense can keep you in it, but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, bro. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, 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 don't leave until you get my order. Brad, Kirk, take the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Anderson from the seven. Gets out to about the 31. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll bring up second and three. Three down, three down. 49 to 
He tackles him for a loss. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. From their own 35-yard line, it's third down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Fires it quickly, and it's incomplete. Too bad that'll go down as an incompletion because he made a really great play on the ball to make the catch. Goff is the punter. And down he goes at the 36-yard line. They're set to go for another round. Nevada is up by a touchdown. Makes it out to about the 49. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. First and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. made at about the 47 yard line if these defenders continue to exploit the o-line like that it's gonna be a long day for this running back caught enough for the first down he's tackled right around the 38 yard line his way to about the 28. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. He has three scoring tosses in the game now. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 64-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Miller has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Herbie went to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. We still don't know the severity, but the bad news is he hasn't reappeared. Doesn't look like he's going to play any more football today. Gets to about the 24-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. the pass broken up nice job getting a hand on that one yeah really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense so it's second and ten ball on the 24 they come out on an empty backfield strike to his receiver no good That's a great tackle at the 34. Room around the corner. 
They'll bring him down at the 47. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. First down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Around four yards there on the quarterback keeper. That makes it second and six. Right, right, right. Four down, four down. 49 to Mike, watch 49. Quick pass. And he's tackled around the 49-yard line. Loss of two. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. down and they need to get it inside the 43. Zips it to the back. And they make the stop at the 47 yard line. The punt upcoming and they're going to come after this one. showing right now that they are not content to sit back and just watch their lead disappear. They're adding to it. Boy, they're clicking right now on offense. They found their rhythm, and as you said, they're not looking back. They're trying to extend this lead and try to put this game out of reach. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That makes it second and six. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, the Wolfpack lead 21-7. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Three down, three down. At 58 to the mic. Go, to And down he goes around the 42 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. in and he's got a lane gets out to around the 28 and he's taken down at the 25 
That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it second and eight. Makes it out to him on the 16. He has some room. Decent run here, right side. Convert here on another third down. the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. From the eight-yard line. Tackle made at the 27. Arizona's been doing special things on offense all season long, and not today. That's not what we've been expecting. This has been a shocker. These guys have had their way with almost every defense all year long. You come in expecting the same thing, and they lay an egg. Well, I didn't expect to see this at all. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball on the 27. Now he's scrambling. He's taken down around the 28-yard line. That's a deep one on the play. That one in the third line. He's going to try and scramble. Once and all, going deep. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's going right. A junior makes the catch. Tackle right around the 40. That's a good-looking throw and catch. Obviously, the defense is going to have to give them some room, but they're not going to give up the big play. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Rose, and he's right there to knock it away. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. Less than three minutes in the game. Tackle made at the 30. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. Here we go! Five wide. He's looking for six. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Gets it. He's in space. He's tackled around the 21-yard line. Gain of nine yards. Third down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down right around the 10-yard line. That's a gain of 11 on the play. First down. I hope you brought your left. I'm about to take you to school. 49 to 
Catches it, and that's all. Dodge makes the tackle at the three yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. So an 11 play, 72 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. He's taken down at the 42 yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Just under two minutes in the game. He's at the 30, makes it to the 21. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. Arizona will take their first time out of the half. From the 21-yard line, it's first down. Hill again makes it to the 11. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. this game with that touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Nevada is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. He got hit hard. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. That makes it first and ten. From their own 41-yard line, first down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Ready, he fires. And this one falls incomplete. Remember, this is college football. All you need is one foot down to be able to make this catch. This time, the wide receiver is just too close to the boundary, not allowing himself to get either his left or right foot down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's tackled at about the 25-yard line. Easy, 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 easy. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Tiger. Crash, crash. Here we go. White 80. He launches one for the end zone. Jones was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it Just a minute remains in this football game. Strike and he drops it. Flips it middle to the running back. 
They'll get him for a loss. That's a loss of one yard on the play. Easy, 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 easy. Over, 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 over. Over, 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 Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. First down. It's the ninth play of the drive. 34, eyes on 34. Make that hand with us. Under a minute left in the game. What a play, and that is first and goal. Gain of 11 yards. Easy, that makes easy, it first easy. and goal. And he stops the clock with a spike. That makes his third and goal. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Over the middle to his tailback. And they make the stop at the four-yard line. The Wildcats, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. This is a big play right here. It's fourth and goal from the four-yard line. Number three. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. What's more amazing than anything else is that these guys are still losing. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. We have got an all-out Donnybrook on our hands. Syracuse out front, 7-0. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. They'll bring him down at the 39. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Nevada 35, Arizona 21. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.